he started this war on the 24th because it was a day that the people kicked out his regime from Ukraine. Hello, my friends. It's Zachary Peak from Viv Ukraine and my friend Joseph Linsley from Viv Ukraine as well. It's a daily word journal. Uh, you know it as speak freely or the speak shitty as, as you want, is your wish. But now it's 8th of May. It's Sunday. Sunday midnight, I think. I don't know what time is it. And tomorrow, tomorrow is a big day for Russian motherfuckers. Tomorrow is uh, 9th of May, and for them, it's uh, it's the day, it's a celebration of that shitty day. They they called the victory day. They won the Nazis motherfuckers in Germany. But as you know, as you know, and all the world know, it's it's a lie because. Because because we know that that war was won by European countries, by Britain, Britain, United States, also Ukrainian and Belarus soldiers, but not fucking Russians. But tomorrow, tomorrow, it will be Monday. The Putin, the Hitler of twenty first century fucking idiot I don't have any words for that guy he's going to to destroy my my favorite and lovely city Lviv with a chemical or a nuclear bomb as he said already because he hates us and my friends now we need we need your support as never before because we need we just want you to talk about about us everywhere in the cafes during the coffee in the morning in the evening during the dinner with your family um, on your work with your colleagues like everywhere just talk about us talk about ukraine and talk about russians motherfucker and everything what they are doing here and yeah what can you say about that? May 9th, it's, uh, as Zach said, it's a, uh, it's a Soviet holiday. Um, it's a victory over the Nazis, which is a great thing to defeat the Nazis. But for, for, for all of Eastern Europe and all of Russia, after the Nazis were fe- defeated, they lived under a new horrible regime. They lived under Soviet communism. And, uh, and it was terrible. And until 1991, uh, they... they just, you know, got some measure of independence, uh, and Ukrainians, especially in 2014, established their freedom from Moscow. So Ukrainians celebrate not only the defeat of the Nazis, but also the defeat of the Soviets and the communists. But the Russians only look toward uh, the defeat of of the Nazis. And so tomorrow is a major holiday in uh, Russia. And uh, the, 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 Zach, how would you describe the? I mean, yeah, how would you describe the mood? In Lviv, the, right now, t- today, like that first air alarm this morning, it was a beautiful blue sky, sunny day today. But what is the feeling? What is your feeling? And what is the feeling of people around you right now in these hours, in these hours before tomorrow? You know, from today, it's, I think it's, a, it's, it is, it was the first day after 24th of February that I was scared about the war because I really I really waiting for that fucking big bomb to leave. I hope of course nothing will happen but we'll see tomorrow. I know that that Ukrainian warriors will show to Russians what does mean Ukraine and they will never come here again. Never. Uh, the mayor of Ivano Frankivsk, which is about two hours yeah. south, and uh, he, south he, he east said of... to the people of Ivano Frankivsk, uh, people, if you can, go to the mountains. Don't stay in the city. 
for, for tonight and tomorrow, really. And, uh, and but the mayor, the after, it's like eight, and nine, mm -hmm. and ten of May, three but days. The, the mayor of the Viv said, stay in the city and plant potatoes. I don't want to talk about Ukrainian politics. Well, okay. unfortunately, it's, it's 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 very it's it's very complicated because, like all politics are different, and in different countries, in different cities, they are different also, and the yeah. mayors are different. And if in, for example, in Ivano Frankivsk, the mayor say that people save your lives, mm. keep them safe, be in the mountains. It's not so far, but in the mountains, it will be safer. In Lviv, right. our mayor is more businessman, and he say, "No man, no people. You have to work because we really need money." And you know, oh, both of them are right, but I don't know what I'm pre prefer. But still, I'm in Lviv, and you're also in Lviv. I want to go to the Carpathian Mountains. I would love to go there and disappear. And you could very easily just disappear there. And Sort of forget about everything and hide, but um, now is not the time for that. And uh, the, the 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 only my only concern with tomorrow's date is so for, for months we you know in November and even before that, but really from early November sixth, we heard about Putin's plans to invade Ukraine. And you know oh, when is it going to happen? Some said January, some said April. And then, you know, as it, as it got closer to the date, you know, two weeks before, Putin gave a speech that cut like a knife to everyone here. We really felt that he was coming for a genocide uh, of this country in that speech. And that when I heard it, people, we hugged each other in the cafe. Everyone felt that something wicked was coming. And he, the date that he invaded was February 24th. And most analysts say that he was he wanted to invade earlier, but but you, you know, know it's 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 a numerology I think because yeah. the twenty fourth of February it's the next day after twenty third, and the twenty third of February in Russia it's a holiday, it's it's the national holiday of the Soviet army. The 24th of February was the day of the victory of the Ukrainian Revolution of Dignity. It was a day that a, a remarkable revolution, like the people didn't never fired a shot. Instead, the people took bullets from the secret police. At least 100 people died. The citizens stood in the streets together in solidarity until the regime that they hated fled to Moscow. Which is with whom they were aligned, that regime, and that was February twenty. That was February twenty fourth. And if you read, and if you listen to any of Putin's speeches or read any of his essays, since then, he has hated that day. He's referred to that day. He never calls it, of course, a revolution. He calls it a coup. He calls it a CIA organized coup. He yeah, yeah. hates that day, and because that day. If, if Ukrainians could be free, then why not Russians? Why not Chinese? Why not people all over the world? That that was one of, that was one of the boldest. That was like 1776. And to me, it's no wonder that he invaded Ukraine, a full scale invasion, on that day. And everything I've heard from Putin watchers, he's obsessed with dates. Uh, and, and so look, he 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 started this war on the 24th, because it was a day that the people kicked out his regime from Ukraine. And now, tomorrow, or now, today, it is the first hour of May 9th, which is a major military holiday for the Kremlin, where they like to trumpet the results and have a massive parade in Moscow. I think, I think first it will be the parade in the Moscow. The and parade after, yeah, yeah, and after I think in the afternoon, they can start do something like till the end of the day tomorrow. 
it has to start well, this shit. Uh, the yeah, outdoor no, cafe. I, I want, I want, I want you to ask both that shit, this shit, what we are talking about uh, tonight, because maybe tomorrow it would be no one to post that. Maybe, maybe it's the last time. But I have that same feeling. I had the same feeling all day, and I think. You know, it felt like we were somewhere between heaven and earth, and 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 that's where we that's where we are right now. We're between heaven and earth. We don't know how much time we have, and that's it. Um, so let's, I think, let's pray to the God and let's hope that our our amazing warriors, what we are helping all these shitty times. Mm -hmm will save our fucking lives and also thanks to the people who are helping us who listen that shit what we are talking about and supporting us on ukrainianfreedomnews.com i think more important is this conversation yeah because the words the words in the world can make much more than money and weapons so if if all people in the world will talk about us all people in the world will talk about ukraine and what is going on here of course in the right way not in fucking russian propaganda's way it will help us it will help us a lot because they are governments the governments of their countries will will start moving faster. So not only is enough for the world to support Ukraine, but the best thing is if, if people f dig down in their hearts and find how to be free themselves, then they're supporting Ukraine, they're supporting freedom, they're supporting themselves, they're, they're living like free human beings. Uh, Kraina, the name of Ukraine means the country. And, and I think we can say Ukraine is the freest country in the world now, and it's it's the country that stands for freedom. So to stand for Ukraine, I hope will mean that people will choose to be free in everything they do. Yeah. Uh, Zach, uh, let's close quickly. In case this is our last uh, recording, which we hope <laughs> not, but uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> weird laughter. Um, uh, Three songs, April, by the Ukrainian yeah, by the Ukrainian band Tik. Tell the story of that song. Tik Tok. Tik Tik is very it's very strange strange band and all of their songs are very very stupid and funny, and that song April is about it's about love. It's something very lyric, very poem, very deep very smart so it's not it's not like they are simple songs i think that that's why i i put that in the playlist well it's, at it's, first it's, I know it's, it's very nice it's it's a very nice song because it, it, it's uh the album cover is one of the most it's ridiculous album cover uh it's kind of hilarious and then when I started to listen to it, I hear the, the, the piano is playing and I hear a sh Chopin. Like I hear this beautiful, like it's incongruous with the album cover, this um. Hmm? Tick, tick means sober and culture. Summer, like Lita. No, 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 sober. So like not drunk. Oh, sober, sober. Sober, sober, sober mm -hmm. and culture. Tverezi i kulturni. Let me tick. The next song is um, Jefferson Airplane. Then, by the way, this is from Zach's playlist that he sent to me, I don't know, at the beginning of the war. It took me two months to listen to it. Now we're analyzing it. But the next uh, song is uh, Jefferson Airplane, Somebody to Love. Yeah. And because it's a TikTok music. <laughs> It's TikTok. Yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> it, it it was it was pop popular music like a few months ago. Yeah, like it's it. very 
It's very popular. In and I, I found, I, I found, yeah, I found, I found that song, that band, Jefferson Airplane. I start to, to listen there. And after, in a few months, I heard the um, other song, like White Rabbit and the new Matrix. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice band. It's a really nice retro American band with a nice music. <laughs> what will be the next song? Uh, and so, yeah, the last song is um, from Kanye West. Yeah. Uh, Kanye West. Kanye West is a cool guy, and his music is very nice. And also his his song "Heartless" mm -hmm. is really amazing. I think all all his songs are very beautiful. I uh, I and really as, love as you, as as you, as as you told me before, you like to listen that song during your shitty runnings. Mm -hmm. Around, around the city. Okay, man. Have a good night. Thank you so much. And the world, please help us to win that fucking idiots. And we'll be happy together in the end. Huh? It's been Joe Lindsley. And Zachary Peak, your favorite Zachary Peak from Viv Ukraine, the, the last free country. The last free city in the last free country in the fucking world. UkrainianFreedomNews.com on May 9th, the morning of May 9th, 2022.